Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to talk about the Metasploit framework. So in previous videos you have seen me using this Metasploit, frame, Metasploit framework but you may not know what the Metasploit framework is and how to use it for penetrating. So it is a it is the most popular penetration testing framework and and it is developed by Rapid7 and uh, you can see this is the official page official website of Metasploit and it is saying that this uh, the world's most used penetration testing framework and it is open source and also comes with a, a pro version which uh, which you can purchase from here and it is providing free trial of 30 days so you can uh, use it also but for now we are going to use the free version which already comes with the Kali Linux or Paratoes so it is having different version like MSF console what we really use uh, very often and and it comes also with uh, a web interface called MSF web and it also have a uh, MSF CLI which is a command line tool uh, but what we are going to learn about is the MSF console and enough to learn about the Metasploit framework while talking about the Metasploit framework, what we should uh, learn the most is uh, is the mo modules. So let us see what modules are. So modules are a piece of software that Metasploit framework use to perform a task. Means you can use for exploiting, scanning targets, or do whatever you want re uh, related to penetration testing. And there are seven types of uh, modules, but the mostly used uh, modules are these five and the first type and the first type which is really popular is called exploit so an exploit module is a exploit module is a code which which is used to execute a, a sequence of command in a target machine when you found a vulnerability so you can use exploit uh, for buffer overflow code injection and you can use exploits for web application penetration testing also and the next is the auxiliary module so this is not somehow harmful but you can use it for uh, scanning fuzzing scanning the target and also for denial of service attacks it uh, does not execute any payload in the target machine and then we have payload uh, and this is something this is a a code that we run after uh, running the target machine after successfully exploiting the target so we, when we have access to the target machine using the exploit then we can use this payload to do whatever we want so suppose you want to run a command cell in the target machine then we have to uh, we have to send a payload payload to the target machine using an exploit and it will provide us a metapeter meta session where we can run our commands and you can so see here the metapeter is an advanced payload that allows you to write DLL files to dynamically create new features as you need them so it is basically you can run your own commands in the target machine and the uh, metapeter meta cell will provide you the uh, command line tool then we have post ex exploitation so a post exploitation module is used for gathering information and if you want to gather further access means in, in your target system there might be uh, running the it might be running more uh, different different services and you you have to gather information about that and then you can use the post exploitation module to do that and there you can see uh, the post exploitation post exploitation modules include hash dumps and application and service enumerators so it is really helpful after after the exploitation is successful then we have NOP generators NOP generators NOP the means the NOP means no operation so you can use the NOP generators to uh, make a system hold so you can hold IDS or IPS IDS means uh, intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system uh, using this NOP generator so it really works on the basis of buffer overflow so you can so you can use the buffer overflow vulnerability to exploit something using this NOP generators so this is all about the modules then so let us now practically see how we can use the Metasploit framework to uh, to do our activities 
just uh, to run Metasploit I mean, Metasploit framework uh, using the MSF console version, you can just uh, go to the Kali menu and search for Metasploit framework. And here, from here, you can you can run Metasploit framework also. But you can run Metasploit framework from directly your terminal also. And Metasploit framework use the PostgreSQL database in the in the background. So first, so first of all, you should start the survey PostgreSQL service uh, to before the Metasploit before starting the Metasploit framework. So let us start the PostgreSQL service first be, before we start the Metasploit. So we are starting the PostgreSQL service and it is asking for the root password. And let me give it and after that the PostgreSQL service will be started. Now just type msf console and you will be in the Metasploit framework console. So it, it needs time some time because it will create a database in the background in the PostgreSQL and it is quite heavier software and it is having a lot of a lot of modules exploit exploits payload etc. So it needs some time to load. And here you can see it is showing the Metasploit version is 5.0.87 and it is having 2006 exploits and 1096 auxiliary modules. So how you can think of how big it is. And after and after you have seen the MSA5 in the terminal, so you are in the Metasploit framework console. So first of all, what we should do, we will click help. I'll type help to see to see the options that we can pass that we can use in the Metasploit framework. So I will have all the all the help menu that you can use in Metasploit framework. So you can see a lot of options are available, and here is some examples that how you can use this framework. And the Metasploit framework is having a lot of exploits, but uh, the thing is uh, to uh, to make sure that that which exploit you are going to use. And that is the most difficult thing to choose the exploits from its database. So, if we want to uh, use an exploit from the Metasploit framework, then we can easily search a database. So in previous video, we have seen that I am searching for the VSFTPD exploit, and it is showing us that they, th this exploit is there in the Metasploit framework library, and this is the type of exploit and using the this the platform is unix if we search on the exploit for windows and we can search for the windows exploits also and here you can see that one exploits are there exploits exploits payloads uh, means all types of modules are there but but we don't need all of them so we can sort the search result by sending some more arguments with the search option so we can search for say platform so we'll pass platform and then we can say, say that we need the windows windows modules windows exploits payloads then we can also pass the type of the module then we need to pass the exploit then you will see the exploits that are designed that are developed for windows let's say we want to search for the ssl only then we will pass uh, so platform windows type exploit and then SSL and we will have all the SSL related exploits in the search result so this is how we can sort the search result search results then uh, then there are exploits for Android also so let us search for the Android but uh, that there are no there are no exploit that use the SSL so let us just really search for Android and type exploit so here you can see the all the list of the list of Android exploits that are there in the Metasploit framework. So and the rank and disclosure date as well and the description. The description you will see how uh, for what which purpose you can use it and the rank of the exploits are also given here. So this is a quite beautiful thing and you can use for use it for uh, Android, Unix, Linux and and Windows, Mac OS. And now let's see how we can use something uh, how we can use some exploit or any module so let us say we want to use this 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 uh, exploit multi multi handler so we can just type use to use a an a, a module and you can copy the the 
the exploit name from here or simply just pass the search index search result index here then it will automatically uh, the uh, then it will automatically use the exploit and then then the select uh, for to to know about the selected uh, exploit you can just press info and it will it will provide you a, a general information about the about the module and you can see the name of the exploit and the platform you can use these exploits in and and a brief description about this module now after one exploit is selected now uh, you can see you can select you can see the available payloads that uh, that supports this exploit so you can just uh, send show payloads and it will show a list of payloads you can use for this multi handler exploit and you can see a lot of payloads are there there are approx 520 exploit uh, 20 payloads that you can use with the and that you can use with multi handler exploit so we are back in the bsftpd exploit and let us see how let us see the info about this uh, the, this exploit and it will print a brief description about this vulnerability about this exploit and some reference links also to see what what you can set in this exploit you can just show pre, you can type show options to see what options you can set in the target and there you can see the two two options that you can set is our host and our port so if you want to set in a target then you have to set and the name of the uh, the name of the option that you are that you want to set and then the time then the option that you want to set so let us set the option and then the output is given here but you can change it if you want to so let us change the output and change it to 23 and uh, after after setting all the options then you can just uh, type the exploit to exploit the target ip and i don't have any services running on this ip so it is not going to do anything so yes this is how we can use the uh, the metasploit in metasploit framework modules if you want if you want to know about more about this metasploit framework these modules are stored in uh, the user share slash metasploit framework directory so let me go there and if you and he here if you see the directories you will have a directory called modules so and here it is so let us get inside of this module directory and if you press if you see the the types of modules then you will see that there are seven types of modules the auxiliary encoders evasion exploits nodes payloads and post so you can see the codes of this uh, of these modules from here so let us get inside of this uh, exploit which is the most used uh, metasploit module and here you can see that there are different types of exploit and for different uh, different platforms also and see here is the exploit for apple ios android and unix windows so you can so you can explore about the metasploit modules from this uh, from this directory also and if you want to develop some of your own exploits or own modules own then you then you can simply write your code using ruby so all the codes are written here in ruby so you have to learn ruby and then you can write your own codes and paste it over here and you can use your own payloads in metasploit framework so that is all for this video and i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about the metasploit framework so let me know in the comments that you have learned something or not and uh, give me your suggestion that oh, if anything I left so try to explore the Metasploit modules by yourself and uh, try to use what we have learned today in this video by yourself so that you have a brief idea about how Metasploit framework works and how we can use it so I will put some so I will put some reference links in the description so please check it out and it is really going to help you a lot so Please check the description and uh, like this video if you enjoyed and learned something and subscribe for more videos so that is all for this video and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video